Good evening. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the trouble I go to to do these. I've now got the phone blue tacked to the superstructure of the boats. I've been running up and down these steps, uh, checking out whether it would work. Anyway, never mind all that. Tonight, it's Friday. It's the 1st of May. 1st of May. Uh, now, on a Friday, traditionally, I used to uh, finish work at John's. I'd go and see me Pat and me Billy. Hello, Pat. Hello, Bill. Um, then I'd go to Lidl's, where I would buy a very fine bottle of wine. Liana's going to go mental when she sees that. <laughs> but it's 14% nearly. Well, I think this one's 135 They dropped the alcohol out of it. Must have been a different batch. Anyway, I'd do that. And then on the way home, I'd pop into Wax Kitchen. There's a lot of name dropping going on here, isn't there? Wax Kitchen in Payton, uh, where I'd pick up a curry or a Singapore chow mein, uh, or maybe just a special fried rice with curry sauce over the top. Anyhow, that was my Friday treat, and I used to come home, I'd sit on the in the boat, eat that, watch some television, fast and loud, some hot rod programs, because I really do like my rat rods and stuff like that, bike programs. I'd slowly get more and more wasted, and then I'd go to bed, and the weekend would start. Well, you can't go to the Chinese restaurants at the moment because most of them are shut, I think, although I do believe some of them are staying open. So um, I've struggled to find a curry sauce um, that sort of comes anywhere near. But I've found one. I have good news. This, which you can get from Asda and most supermarkets, this particular make is pretty close to Wax Kitchen, although it's never as going to be as good as Wax Kitchen because the banter that goes on in there is something else anyway. And they're just very nice people and the food's very nicely cooked. But they're open in May, um, so they're open in the next week or two, I think. Uh, best check with them. Um, and they do deliver. So anyway, what you'll need for this dish, I'm going to do Chinese curry, chicken curry, with egg fried rice. So you're going to need... The curry sauce, which I showed you earlier, you're going to need dark soy, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, you're going to need uh, just normal stir fry oil, because you don't want to be cooking with uh, anything that's flavoured when you're doing the curry, it's already got flavouring in it. You're going to need uh, sesame seed oil, some people like that, some don't, I prefer it in my fried rice, it does make it the authentic sort of uh, Chinese takeaway. Frozen peas, and I've said before, don't skimp on quality there. Some chopped onion, because a curry's not a curry without onion. This does have some onion in, but I didn't find there was enough in there. Some mushrooms, and the diced chicken. So, here we go. You're going to need two woks, I'm afraid. Or you could possibly use a frying pan for your fried rice, but you're going to need a wok for the chicken. Get your wok uh, smoking hot. Uh, just get me uh, my favourite utensil out. Put the chicken in, spread it out so you don't pull the wok off too quickly because you know a lot of you out there are probably married or got a significant other. Oh, and the other thing you'll need is some Jack Daniels and a very large, very large drinking vessel. <laughs> yeah, my mate Dale seems to think that you can drink out of a, an egg cup. That's a shot glass, Dale. Anyway, you'll be needing that. Trust me, if you watch many more of my videos, you'll be needing that. So anyway, here we go. I'm just going to leave the chicken in there to brown off. Now, on the back burner, I've got a non-stick pan, which you can see here. I'm going to do the rice in that. I've just got it on a really low heat, so it's prepped, so that the, uh, the wok will be ready for, uh, for use. Now... I'm not going to bother with the Jack Daniels, I'm going to go straight into the wine. I might go on the Jack Daniels later on, so I'll put that back where it lives in that corner there. Cheers! It's Friday. I hope that uh, lockdown isn't affecting you too badly. I know it's, uh, I looked at my books this morning. <laughs> it's not done the... The world of Rudge an awful lot of good. There's only so many drawings I can do in a day. I've said before, it doesn't always pay the bills. So uh, I am going to have a think about what else I can do. You want to make sure that your chicken's well cooked as well. You don't want food poisoning, do you? 
So anyway, yeah, as I said before, this came from Lidl's. I find it a cheeky little vintage. Um, we'll have a little smell of that. We'll go. Yeah, I'm smelling. Yeah, battery acid, and uh, yeah, I'm getting a uh, engine oil. Oh, sorry, I didn't wash my hands, of course. <laughs> It is going to be a bit like cooking with Floyd tonight, I'm afraid. Now, I've said before, you can at this stage flip the wok, but of course, I have been known to hit that with some of the food, it all ends up down the back of the cooker. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn the uh, chicken one by one. Tedious for you to watch, I know, but I'll try and keep you entertained as we go along. The more wine I drink, the better it will be, I'm sure. There we go. Turning those over there, nicely done there. Now at this stage, you don't want to put the mushrooms in too soon. Don't never show your hand too soon, guys. Never. Although most of the women have already got your number by then. Yeah, I'll put the onions in now. Now you'll notice there's some quite big chunks of chicken in there. The reason for that is that uh, I like to uh, cut through half of them. You need a wooden spatula so you don't damage your wok. Part way through the cooking, just to make sure that the chicken's nicely cooked, which I'm going to do right now. There you go. That's cooked. Another big one here. We'll cut that one up as well. That's cooked. See, you don't get these tips on any other cooking program, do you, really? What heat have I got it on? I've got the gas on flat out for the chicken. You don't need it that for that for the rice, but I'll explain that in a minute. This is being cooked in real time, as you can tell. So it gives you a good idea of uh, how long to do things for, I thought. Right. Now then. You don't want to overcook the, uh, the onions, really. We'll get rid of that, so it's starting to get on my nerves. Don't be afraid to let your wok sit, but do try and keep the food moving if you've got it on hot. Otherwise, uh, you ruin the uh, the seasoning. Of your wok. I've had this wok all oh, blimey. Well, it's been through uh, a wife and several girlfriends. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and I've lived on my own for uh, getting on for eight years now. Uh, last girlfriend was a bit of a tough act to follow, so I decided to replace her. Although I have got my eye on somebody, but uh, we'll see. Now, get the peas. Chuck those in. You need a few peas. You can put as many or as little in as you like. It's all a matter of taste. Now, if you wanted a, a special curry, you'd obviously be putting prawns in, bits of pork, maybe some beef, chicken. You just chug anything you've got in. Um, at the moment, because of the uh, money situation in the Rudge, Rudge uh, household, or should I say boat hold, um, I can't afford to, uh, to make, let my meals go over three or four quid. So this is a bit of a treat for me tonight. Because uh, at the moment at Asda, that's a pound. Bargain, I thought. Right, so the uh, peas don't take long to, to cook or defrost. Now you don't need all of this, I found. Uh, you can put it all in, if you can afford to. But of course, as I just said, I'm on an economy drive. So, just for me, I found that just about halfway down the, the jar is good enough that's just enough i'll put that in the fridge and i can do a special fried rice with that later in the week because it does keep for three days i think so now really just a case of warming that sauce through chicken's cooked the onions are just about right for a chinese i reckon although uh, wax kitchen might correct me when i see them in a, a few weeks time because i will be going up there when they open Really, because it was my treat on a Friday, but uh, there you go. We'll have to see if I can afford it now, won't we? Right now, I'm going to transfer that over to the, uh, the ring that's just about 
just keeping that warm now, that's all we're doing with that. So now, I'm going to clean off the uh, spatula I was using. I've mentioned this before, packet rice. Now, uh, fried rice, I've been taught how to do this. Uh, I used to boil the rice up the day before and then keep it in the fridge. There is an element for uh, horrendous food poisoning with this stuff. Make sure that you get it nice and hot. But I found the packet rice, you can't really go wrong. You can get this from Lidl's, it's about 40 pence. And it says on the back of the packet, if you're going to fry it, do it for three minutes. Well, we'll be doing it for a lot longer than that. Now, first of all, you don't want the wok too hot when you put your egg in. So you've just got to gauge how hot it is, which is why I use the uh, spatula out of cooking, because I can hear it fizzing away now. That's about right. I've shown you how to do this before on another video. You just want to fold the egg around. A bit like you would with an omelette really I suppose, fold the edges in until it's just sort of going fluffy. That's going fluffy now. So now we can add the rice. In goes the rice. You can see why I put the uh, curry on a, a very low heat. You could actually put it on a hot plate um, put it in a plate warmer or something like that. You only need to keep it warm while you're doing this. Or if you've got a bigger kitchen, which is what I would have probably done if I still lived in a house, I'd be having both of the things going at the same time. Um, don't get drunk when you do that though, guys. <laughs> Could end up very messy. So, at this stage, I'm just sort of warming the, warming the rice through. Now, making sure I've got the right one. This is where we get the sesame seed oil. Now I find this is a bit uh, a bit potent and the light's just gone out, that's good isn't it? <laughs> Happy days. This is a bit potent so you don't want to put too much in. I don't know whether you can see this now. Let's see if I can get the other light on. There we go. Right, so I've put probably uh, just about a teaspoon full of sesame seed oil into the rice there. I'm hoping this is still showing. Stir that up, then you want uh, equal measures of soy sauce, probably about a teaspoon full of each, maybe a teaspoon full and a half. It's down to taste and uh, mark my words, if you put too much in, you'll be very thirsty for the rest of the night, which is good because I've got wine, so I'm going to put quite a bit in. <laughs> but that's what gives you uh, fried rice. I don't know whether you can see that because of the light. You can probably see that better, I would think. That's what gives you fried rice that colour. So now it's just a case really of cooking it off, getting it warm, making sure we don't poison anybody. Now as I said before, I was taught that if you make a little hole in the centre of your wok, like this, and just leave a couple of bits of rice in there, you'll see them jumping about when they're cooked. Um, this wok is quite heavy and it's not really thick enough for that, but uh, like it says on the packet, three minutes. I think we're coming up to about that now. So yeah, that's it. That is chicken curry, Chinese chicken curry and fried rice. Happy Friday everybody. Kalamina to my, uh, my Greek friends. Now you can go one stage further if you're entertaining a young lady guys. Get some Chinese takeaway containers and pop it in there. <laughs> and plop it on the table. That'd be really impressive. Where did you get that from on lockdown? Oh well. I got my contacts. See, so, uh, what I should probably do now when I leave you is, um, because I live on my own, it does get a bit lonely. So I'm going to go in the bedroom now and I'm going to shout, is the curry here yet? And then I'll run from the bedroom to the lounge and shout back, yeah, I think it's just arrived. <laughs> 
madness is setting in on the Rudge household. So there you go, guys. Chinese curry. Take care of yourselves. Stay away from each other until the lockdown's over. I think they're, uh, they're thinking of, of some, taking some of the restrictions off us. Happy days. Keep watching my videos and please keep subscribing. I need loads of you. And um, thank God for the NHS. I'm going to turn you off now. Bye.